think this is going to be one of those nights. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Hey, I've heard that. That's the one about the mountain man whose spirit still roams through these hills. That's how you introduce a plot. Satan's Blade opens with a bank robbery and murder. The robbers head to a rented cabin in the mountains and... They're girls. Shocking. They hide the money and wait for their accomplice. Things should calm down in a couple of days, so just try and keep yourself together until George gets here. Yeah, the police give up quite quickly after a double murder and bank robbery. Just lie low until your wanted level drops. It's the most realistic part of Grand Theft Auto. But before George can arrive... The killers are themselves killed. The police investigate. Oh, by the way, should we close up the cabin? No, I don't think that'll be necessary. We don't go in for this locking down the crime scene. Just wipe the blood off and wheel in the next guests. Luckily for you, we have one vacant cabin. You can't Just give me five minutes to fetch the mop. Mother. But the cabin owner's mother has a slightly different sales pitch. No one will be safe if it's what I think it is. And the potential guests express their interest in a completely natural fashion. I can't wait to hear this. Please, tell us about it. Strap in. There was a time when there wasn't a soul living in these parts, except for a giant man and his family. They stayed in cabin four. They say he was given a weapon, but that wasn't from the gods. That was from the evil spirits of these mountains that wanted them for themselves. Uh, great. Can we get our key? where he has become a monster of death and stalks all who come to these mountains. There are two groups taking adjacent cabins, two couples and five girls. And there is some awkward chemistry between married Tony and young Stephanie. Don't worry, we'll be good. I wouldn't worry. I just hope we don't keep you up at our party. <laughs> Definitely a party atmosphere. Tony and Lisa and Al and Lil are here to celebrate Tony passing the bar. Holy hell, this is the saddest celebration ever. The girls' party centers around Sue. I really was too bad about her father. He was so nice. Okay, maybe this is the saddest party ever. It's a bit what hell of a day, what do you think? <laughs> I think your standards of a hell of a night are pathetically low, but now, stuff starts to happen. As the killer strikes. And strikes. No wonder these people had so little character, it was barely worth meeting them. Oh, it was all a dream. But... Actually, this is a different kind of horror. Son of a bitch, it's those guys from next door! Hi, our wives were sleeping and we thought, what the hell? Hey, Al! It's better than Disneyland! Tony gets reacquainted with Stephanie. You deserve this, buddy. I'm not sure he does. I think it's time you came to bed. Come the morning, Al's wife doesn't seem to care, while Lisa... You want me to stay here with you? I'd rather be left alone. Cool, I'll see if Stephanie's free. About last night, I'm really sorry. I wonder if I should apologize to my wife. You know, you look a lot better without that mask on. Stephanie is all over Tony, but... You gotta understand something. I'm married. And I love my wife. I'm drawing the line here. Just beyond groping you in the snow. Maybe I was too hard on him. No. It means I've been sitting here feeling threatened by some little snow bunny, trying to picture what my life would be like without you and... It would be better. How could you doubt me after everything we've been through? Um... Hey, Al! It's better than Disneyland! 
You're probably noticing the lack of horror and I'm guessing that Sue's dream was added so you had something to watch beyond the lifeless interactions of the least engaging group of people ever to barely convince us human beings. Isn't it nice, Sue, that we get to get away for the weekend? Yeah, it's all right. That sort of deathless dialogue is all you've got to watch for the first 50 minutes until... It really is remarkable you can spend two-thirds of a movie waiting for a killing spree that is every bit as unimaginative as the dialogue. Maybe more so. Stephanie is the sole survivor of the girl's cabin and runs for help. Steady on, my wife's right there. Their tires have been slashed, so Al and Lil go for help on foot. We're almost there. Al, please! Uh, uh. Al! Oh my god! Uh, could you hold still for a minute? Ah! Thanks. Back at the cabin. <laughs> Tony? I'm gonna take Stephanie upstairs. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Wow, I didn't want to be the one to suggest it, but yeah, let's make that happen. But as Stephanie hides, the killing continues. Well, I guess now Tony's free. Stephanie finds a cop. <laughs> what? You. Why? I suggest you make the explanation you are about to give phenomenally good. I don't know. Not good enough. All I ever wanted was the m money. Now that is potentially interesting. If you remember... Hey, things should calm down in a couple of days. So just try and keep yourself together until George gets here. Well... George, you all right? I love the idea of the bank robbery accomplice using a local legend as cover for the killings he has to commit to get his hands on the money. But that's not what's happening here. For one thing, why take the money now rather than when he killed the first girls? For another, he is actually possessed. There's something inside me that I, I can't control. Having picked up the giant's enchanted knife, something we don't see. So it feels as if the film hasn't made up its mind which way to go. Something else worth noting, with certain caveats, this is psycho. It has the robbery at the start that you think is the story and isn't. It has the early death of a character whom you thought was the lead. It even has the final monologue. This is my mountain. And people that come to my mountain must perish. It's Psycho, made by someone who has no idea why Psycho works. Pay close attention, maybe you'll learn something. Satan's Blade is trying to do exactly what a good thriller should. Tell an engaging character story that is blown apart by dramatic events. Except that the characters aren't engaging and the events aren't dramatic. What you hear about that? So, I don't know if you want to give it points for trying, but it's just awful. It's not for us to listen. Come on, let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Psycho, then check out our video on the film. A little taster of what you can get on Patreon. Tony and Lisa should not be together. What other movie couples should just call it quits? Let us know in the comments below. So I'll worry about your clothes. Let's get out of here. I'll get the car.